back to clutch situation. Today I have for you a classic Pentel economy pencil that is, has been discontinued and is not available anymore, but is definitely worth you checking out for your collection. This is another one that I had had my sights on for a really, really long time, and someone commented on the channel and reminded me about it, and so I went ahead and I looked at eBay, and I was actually able to find one on eBay. And so in doing that, I was able to get this pencil for the very first time. I had never had a version of this before, even when it was very popular in the 90s. And it is the Pentel PW45, the Technica X. And for those of you not familiar with this particular model of a Pentel mechanical pencil, it looks like a common economy pencil, mechanical pencil of the 1990s. It has some of the key Pentel features, like a really strong pocket clip. If you think of the average Papermate mechanical pencil that does not have a pocket clip, this would be an example of uh, Pentel quality that you usually would not get in a mechanical pencil. And I'll run down all the features of the pencil first, but probably the most uh, uh, important one to start with is the fact that this is a retractable sleeve pencil and you'll if you notice the retraction of this pencil the first thing that you're going to notice is that this is a true double knock system where the entire lead sleeve goes back into the pencil when it is retracted and extends out when you click the pencil and the way that a double knock mechanism works of course is that after you have uh after you have extended the lead sleeve, you give a light press in order to extend the lead so that it is all together into one mechanism. And then when you want to retract that lead sleeve in order to make it pocket safe, you click hard all the way down and it will retract back up until the, into the pencil. And these pencils of, of this particular mechanism just don't really exist anymore, especially not in an economy state. Now, since this pencil has been discontinued, to obtain it, you're obviously going to have to pay a little bit more. It was a couple bucks when it was available in the 1990s. It was a great deal. It was a steal. Uh, I had used mechanical pencils in the 90s, but I didn't really get into them as a collector until a couple years ago, and so I regret that I've never actually had one of these in my collection. I'm glad that I added it, though, because the retraction mechanism on this Pentel Technica X really is surprisingly good for what this pencil cost when it first came out onto the market. And so let's go ahead and roll down the rating scale on it. This is the Pentel Technica, I assume referring to technical, Technica X mechanical pencil. You know, with regards to that technical thing, let's take a look at it, specifically the lead sleeve, because most for a technical pencil, you would expect perhaps a lead sleeve to have to be four millimeters long. And this looks to me to be a two millimeter lead sleeve. Uh, and so it's a little bit more challenging to use this along the sides of a template, but still possible. I can see why they had to compromise on the length of the lead sleeve for the Technica X specifically because it, um, may not make the retraction mechanism to be as easy to build uh, or to be held within the body of the pencil if it were a longer lead sleeve. Running down the rating scale, let's go ahead and start with writing experience. I've actually been writing with this for several months now because I really wanted to take the thing out for a spin before I reviewed it here on the channel. I'm going to go with good on writing experience. And the only reason why I'm going with good is because... I'm not a thick grip sort of person with regards to writing with pencils. Um, this thicker grip of the Pentel Technica X isn't necessarily what I would say offensive to me or bothersome to me, but a thicker grip just isn't my cup of tea. You'll also see that we have a ribbed silicone grip that extends up the side of the pencil like this. Okay, I'm not really sure if there is a practical reason as to why this extends up the body of the pencil or if it's just for looks. It only extends up on one side. Um, perhaps if someone is holding a pencil like this, it cushions the end, cushions the end of their uh, the side of their finger right here. I don't know. Um, it may just be for decoration. I found that I've enjoyed writing with the Technica X, but it isn't my ideal writing experience. And so that's just something for you to consider if you're considering a purchase of the Technica X. And this was new old stock. I think I paid $12 for it. 
which is a pretty good deal for a new old stock vintage pencil, but it is going to be more and more difficult to get a hold of as the years go on. And so I wanted to make sure that I did this video for any of you who might be interested in purchasing it. You could be fully informed in order to do that. Okay, what about the quality? Well, this is very much a economy economy pencil. I'm going to go ahead and go good with it, though, because we all know that economy pencils, uh, with regards to Pentel pencils, are a lot better quality than economy pencils of other manufacturers. And although it does have somewhat of a little bit of a cheap feel to it, it's certainly uh, in the top echelon, I would say the top third of economy pencils that I've uh, purchased and come to collect over time. So pretty good quality. And with regards to quality, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the eraser cap and erase a little bit with it. There's a little bit of eraser dock wobble, but not a lot. I really appreciate pencils that do not have a lot of wobble in the eraser dock. You can see that there's a little bit of wobble in it. It's not as bad as the Uni Kuritoga or some other models. Um, but that's sort of uh, one of the gauges that I use, like how solidly constructed is this pencil? And I'm going to go ahead and go with a good on it. Okay. What about features? Well, this is where the thing really shines. Okay. Pocket safe, tiny little racer, really high quality, um, uh, pocket clip. I'm going to go with good plus on this. Okay, not the most feature-rich thing that I've ever uh, had, and I do consider the grip to be a feature of it. And so part of the reason why I'm not giving it a great on my scale is that the grip isn't my ideal grip for a mechanical pencil. But all the other features are awesome. Okay, and so good plus. Cost. Well, I was able to snag this for 12 USD, I think also plus ship on eBay. And eBay is pretty much the only place that you're going to find this because it was discontinued many, many years ago. And like I said, new old stock is available, but it isn't like that's going to be the case forever. And so you really need to make a decision in the next couple of years if you want to get your hands on one of these things. And I, I do know if you go to Dave's Mechanical Pencil blog, which I recommend that for anybody who is getting into mechanical pencils or is into mechanical pencils, Dave's Mechanical Pencil blog is sort of what got me back into collecting and considering mechanical pencils. And so if you are interested in mechanical pencils, just type into Google Dave's Mechanical Pencil Blog and you will get to it. And he has all sorts of reviews. The Technica X is featured on his uh, site. He was really active, especially in the 2000s. And uh, he's since shut down his blog, but it's still a nice archive that is available online. And I highly recommend that you check that out. So what are the pros and cons of the Technica X? Technica X. Well, I want to spend a little bit more time talking about that retractable sleeve because not only are retractable sleeves in general less common on mechanical pencils, like true retractable sleeves, we have a lot of sliding sleeves out there, but not a lot of truly retractable sleeves. Like one that most people will think of is the Rotring 800, which in of itself is a great um, pencil, but one of the big Concerns that a lot of people have with retractable sleeves of this style is how precise is the writing experience. And the big, the best compliment that I could give the Pentel Technica X, the PW45, let's get the model number up here. The best compliment that I could give for this is that this is a solid uh, extendable sleeve. There's, I, I can't really detect much wobble in this when I'm wiggling. And you can see I had a little bit of lead breakage there, probably because if there was more wobble, I may, I'd be less likely to, to break lead there, but there'd be less precise of it of a situation. And so that's a huge compliment to give a retractable sleeve mechanical pencil. The fact that the extendable lead sleeve is so solid. And then of course, one thing that is a bother to a lot of us in the mechanical pencil world is that if you stuck this in your shirt pocket, like a dress shirt, you would tear up your pocket. But with this double, uh, double knock retraction system, you can make this pencil pocket safe. Uh, it has sort of a, um, uh, modern technical look to it as well. Uh, we, we would even, I would even say that maybe it's even a retro look here in 2017 as compared to when it was popular in the 1990s, but 
futuristic look, uh, you know, is, is something that an individual who's going to be using this pencil might be more inclined uh, to take advantage of. Now, what about those pros and cons? Well, retractable sleeve is great, very little play in it, strong pocket clip, new old stock is still available, so check it out, do some searching on, eBay's, but it's, on eBay, but it's not going to be that case for much longer. It does have some cons. Um, when I am extending lead, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, uh, pretty good amount. Uh, and when I say good, I mean a controlled amount of lead that is being clicked out on ten clicks. I'd say that's about six millimeters or so. You know, let's maybe we should just go ahead and measure it. Yep. And so, yeah, I'd say a little bit past the, the uh, half of a centimeter there, so about six millimeters, seven millimeters, which is a good amount of clicks for a Pentel mechanical pencil. The big downside of this mechanism with this double knock is that if you're writing and you do some clicking and you're not paying attention, it's really easy to accidentally retract a mechanism like this. So you're like, I want to click out more leg. Click, oh, I accidentally retracted it, and now I have to extend it again in order to keep writing with it. And so... You kind of have to pay more attention when you're clicking lead with this pencil than you would with another pencil. And for some people, that little amount of extra effort could be a concern for you. I don't know. I already mentioned the grip. I'm not a fan of larger grips. I'm not a fan of uh, ribbed silicone grips at all. I mean, this is more of the style of grip that really bothered people when they put it on the uh, Pentel Quicker Clicker, when they moved it from the smooth plastic to uh, silicone varieties, which is not the exact ribbing pattern that you see here on the Technica X, but still still a similar feel to it. Um, and so your mileage will vary, uh, but I think that this is a great piece. I highly recommend the Technica X to people. And so if you are looking for a vintage mechanical pencil that you'd like to add to your collection, that is sort of a piece of mechanical pencil history that a lot of people review very positively and I review very positively, I would recommend the Pentel Technica, Technica X to you. In fact, to the point that I think I'm going to add the Pentel Technica X to my honorable mentions, and I have an honorable mention list that is going to be coming up on the channel here pretty soon. I recently did a redux of my top 10. I recently did seven great drafting pencils. So check out those videos if you like to. But one of the next sort of collection videos that I'm going to do is running down some of the best of the rest, some great honorable mention pencils that I highly recommend that you check out. And I'm going to add the Pentel Technica X to that collection. So thanks for watching. Keep coming back to Clutch Situation. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or would like to share something with the rest of the hobby enthusiasts that are here on the channel. And I will catch you later.